going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about going digital on one of these guys so you may be wondering how is that possible well i'm going to be let's be fair here all of the digital processing can't occur on these radios they're just not built for it they don't have the technology so what we're going to do is wire them into a computer and use these as a conduit to transfer the data real quick guys before the video gets kicked off this video took quite a bit of effort. I'm not going to lie, it took several shots. I've, I've actually recorded it, I think, three times now. And it, uh, I just want to ask you guys, if you liked the video, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button because it means a lot to me. Uh, it kind of shows that I'm, uh, you know, doing something valuable to you guys. So. so this is also an opportunity for me to give a big shout out to the open or the uh, free DV community. I haven't talked about them on this channel, but... Uh, they are developing a free um, digital voice protocol that uh, is targeted toward HF radio, but it can also be used on VHF, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, but today, I just wanted to see if we can take one of these cheap $25 to $35 radios and get digital working on it. And we're also going to do a field test, and we're going to compare it analog and um, non-analog and digital to see what fares better. Let's go ahead and get into it. I also want to say uh, FreeDV is completely open source, and it uses Codec 2, which is also an open source uh, speech codec. And I'm a big advocate for open source and amateur radio, so if you haven't checked out this project before, please do so. The, three, the FreeDV blog says that there's... Wow, that's really hard to say. Uh, there's two specific codecs that's built into FreeDV that uh, is targeted toward VHF. And the ones that I saw that were available on my list was 2400 Bravo and 800 X-Ray Alpha. So those are the two codecs that we're going to be trying out in this video today. And, and, and to do all this, you're going to need, one, a radio. And no, it doesn't have to be a Baofeng radio. It, uh, it can be basically any VHF radio that has the ability to have an audio interface to a computer. Which brings me to the second thing that you need, which is an audio interface. Now, what is an audio interface for you guys who don't know? It is an interface that carries sound from the radio to the computer and from the computer to the radio. And I'm going to show you guys two different options that you have for the Baofeng. A cheap option and an expensive option. And the cheap option is this. This BTEC APRS uh, K2 cable or K1 cable. You can buy it on Amazon for $22. And I'm going to show you guys how to use both of these as well. Uh, this cable is typically used for APRS with the Baofeng, but you can use it on basically any digital mode. It's only $22, $22 and this, radio, this side will plug into your radio, this side will plug into your computer or cell phone. And it will use Vox to toggle, and that's the drawback. You don't get to control when the push to talk on the radio happens. That's problem one. So whenever there's sound, it turns on. And sometimes it takes a second to turn off because of that. The second problem is you can't run the radio with open squelch, which means the radio is just listening to all signals all the time, which is really handle for, handy for these digital modes, just in case something's coming through that's not getting picked up uh, or it's not breaking the squelch of the radio. So you won't be able to use Vox to toggle that. And you'll see what I mean if you play around with it. The second option, which is the one I highly recommend, but it does cost significantly more, is the, the DigiRig, and I haven't talked about the DigiRig yet on this channel, but I've got a lot of love for this thing. If you're into any type of digital mode and radio, I recommend just going ahead and buying one. I'm not affiliated with them. I just like the product because it's very versatile. So I buy the DigiRig, right? And the DigiRig itself, plus the cable, costs 60 bucks. So this, this right here will plug into the computer, and this is where you plug the radio into. Now, what can get expensive is the cables. And you can make your own. The diagrams are all online um, for cables. But this cable itself, it came in a pack of two. Uh, one was programming. One was for the Baofeng audio interface. And this was $30 with the other cable. So all together, you're looking at $90, probably around $100 uh, for tax for the entire set. But you can use this part, this DigiRig part, on any radio as long as you have the cable for it. So you're buying an audio interface for a lot of different equipment as long as you can make a cable or you can buy one. So 
the advantage to th of this over the BTEC cable is you have push to talk built into this, which means that we don't have to rely on Fox. We can run the radio with an open squelch and we can actually control when we're transmitting. So those are your two options. And I'm going to show you guys how to set the radio up for those two options as well. All right, so if you are going to use the APRS B2 cable, the cheaper option, let's turn that down. You're going to go into the menu and menu number one needs to be set to one right and uh, menu number three needs to be set to off menu number four needs to be set to I'd say roughly we'll set it to five we may have to experiment around with that later and menu or menu number five needs to be set to wide this will set up your radio for the, the uh, APRS cable. If you're using the digi rig, here's how we're gonna set things up. We're gonna go back into the menu, and this time the squelch is gonna be set to zero, so it's completely open because we can still toggle it even though uh, it is open. So menu number two, we're gonna go ahead and turn the transmit power up to high for that. And power save still needs to be off, which is menu three. Vox needs to be off, which is menu number four. And menu number five needs to be set to what? Now this radio is set up to use the digi rig. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the FreeDV website, which the link will be in the description. And you're going to scroll down to the installers for 32-64-bit Windows Mac. It's going to take you to a GitHub page. You're going to uh, open the assets here and um, you're going to download the one appropriate for your operating system. In my case, it was this one right here, Windows x86-64. We're going to go ahead and download that, and we're going to open it up, and we're just going to go through the install process. Too easy. Once that's done, obviously you're going to want to open it. Once you get the program installed, uh, once you open it for the first time, it's going to ask you to do initial setup. Just close that out. And this is where the video is going to start back. All right, so once you have the program open, I'm going to show you guys the two different ways to configure. The first way I'm going to show you is through the APRS cable, the cheaper cable. Then I'm going to show you how to set up the software for the DigiRig. So this is a video I took of setting it up for the, um, the APRS cable. So what you'll do is you'll actually go to Tools up here. And then you'll go to Audio Config. And for the input to the computer from the radio, uh, this is going to be your headset jack. So the, in my case, I have it ex, uh, labeled external mic. The output from your computer to your speaker headphones is going to be your, uh, your headset. So may, you should be wearing some type of headset if you're using a digital mode. Um, but it's going to be the speakers where you want to hear audio coming from. So next, we're going to go to the transmit tab down here. And we're going to look at input from microphone to computer. This is going to be the microphone that you use to talk through the radio. All right. So this is going to be the microphone you use, like, for example, the microphone I'm using here uh, to talk to you guys. That's so going to be the microphone you use to talk on. So in my case, I'm going to use the headset microphone that I'm using. And for the output from the computer to the radio, this is back to your audio interface. And this might look different for different computers, but it's basically going to be your headset jack. As if you were playing it through your headphones, this is going to be what you select here. In my case, it's called speakers, but it's really talking about the headphones on my computer if it's plugged in. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the program for the DigiRig. Same as before, close out the program, uh, the, the startup window as soon as it opens. Just have the program open, and then you'll go to Tools, and you're going to go to Audio Config. All right, so once you go to audio config, again, the, uh, the input to the computer from the radio is going to be your DigiRig. Um, so that's going to, in my case, it should be USB sound device if you haven't renamed it, microphone. So you'll select that for the input to computer from radio. Next, the output from computer to speaker headphones. These are going to be the headphones, again, that you listen on. So it's going to be the, the headset you're actually using to talk. Uh, in my case, I am going to use just the regular speakers on this laptop because I want the voice to just play outside the speakers. 
Next, we're going to go back to the bottom here and we're going to go to the transmit tab. Now the input from microphone to computer, this is going to be again, the device that you use to talk with. So this is going to be your headset microphone. And in my case, I'm using the built-in microphone, uh, which is the Realtek audio. So this is the one built into the webcam on the laptop. I'll be using that for this one. So there's no headset. And lastly, the output from computer to the radio. This is again, back to your audio interface. In this case, we're using the DigiRig. So we're gonna select that USB sound device. Now, once you've done that, all you have to do is hit apply, hit okay. And now the next thing you have to do additionally for the DigiRig is set up push to talk. So you'll go back to tools, PTT config, and you should be able to just select the only sound device or the only serial device that's probably available, but it, it'll be the one for the DigiRig. Next, you'll check the use RTS and the RTS plus V and hit apply and OK. And now this computer is set up to use the DigiRig with free DV. So now we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do a transmit test. Also want to add to make sure that uh, before you actually start using free DV, make sure you hit that 2400 mode for VHF and then hit the start transmit button like in the video whenever you need to say something. Uh, that will make sure that you're actually using the program properly. Well, this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo, performing a test of free DV via the Valfang radio with the APRS cable as well as the DigiRig. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo, performing a test of free DV via the Valfang radio and the DigiRig as well as the APRS. So update after the range test. I drove around in my car about 30 minutes doing different analog tests, set up recording. I had everything recording here. And it turns out the rubber duck just couldn't reach. The rubber duck on the Balfang, it couldn't reach over digital and it couldn't reach over analog. So I kind of just drove around for 30 min minutes yelling into the static. So I really apologize for this, but I don't have a comparison test uh, or, or distance test in this video. I'll look at doing that in the future. But the vi the test that you did just see was from my room to out in the yard. So I don't have the distance test. I don't have the comparison to analog. I will do that more than likely in a future video, but I do apologize. Just understand that uh, I faced a lot of technical difficulties this video and I was out driving around for 30 minutes trying to make that happen and I came back to find out it didn't. So kind of a let down. I'm sorry guys, but I really appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate everybody being here and uh, I hope that you all continue to experiment and 73 to you.